Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Budget Bike Build Virago 250. All we've got to do is go back in time. Let's do it. Righty, hey guys, so I've taken off a few bit more pieces, which I'll show you in a minute, <clears throat> um, off this bike, just to, for me to get more access to the engine. I'm doing some scrubbing down here and I thought I'd better show you before I show you the finished product. So what we're talking about is, you can see I've just started to use sandpaper to, oh, hopefully you can see that. So this is basically what it looks like now. And hopefully I'm gonna get that up to a high shine, that whole thing. Now around here, I'd mentioned this before, see this bubbling stuff? It looks like it's, um, rusting underneath there well I just used some of this bloody maize sandpaper really coarse stuff and as you can see I've just rubbed underneath there so I'll just do a bit more now hang on I'll put you on the tripod righto guys so that's what it is now I'm just going to give it a quick rub in real time so you can see it's just knocking that off so I don't know what, this is obviously aluminium. Um, I don't know what causes that. It must be maybe an oxidization thing that happens under the paint, which does that, I don't know. Look in the comments, someone might actually give us the answer. So there you go guys. I think, well no, I know, I'll be able to get all that nice and smooth. So when that gets painted black, it's not going to be all ripply or, or shitty looking. Rightio guys, so, same deal that I did with those forks, this oil filter cover. There it is. So compared to what it was, now this isn't a high finish. I've just done a fairly rough job, but that's all you need to do. Bit of sandpaper, go down the, um, you know, the 320 grit, then the 800 grit, and the 1500 grit. That's what I use. I don't know whether that's the right thing to use, but it always comes up. And then just use that uh, polishing stuff on it. So I've still got all this to do. I'm going to jump from doing this. I'm going to go out there and do some other stuff. Um, but yeah, so that'll be that chrome high polish finish. And then all this is going to be black all through here. We'll have the chrome tops there. Um, and the edges of these fins will be the um not black i'm going to sand them so they come up that flat silver color but you'll have the black inside that'll be chromed up so i'm thinking i'm pretty happy with the way that this is uh moving rightio so over here i have this thing the exhaust now while i thought it was going to come up pretty good there are just certain spots like that there where it has just gone way all the way through the chrome you try and smooth it up and you just you just that's what you're left with so that means <clears throat> I mean and that's just one spot there's bloody there's heaps of spots like that um, so this I'm going to clean them all up this will be sprayed black satin black and then they will get wrapped all the way on these two pieces here now I've still got to go through and um, clean up all the rust. I mean, I could cheat and just wrap it, um, but I want to clean this up. This will all get painted black as well, same as that, to seal it. Then it'll get the wrap over it. Um, what else we got? So I've got all this bloody bits and pieces that I've taken off. That's the, uh, oh, hang on, if I come around. Oh. Managed to get that off, which is just basically a simple thing. It was too easy so they're all going to get cleaned up that'll get chromed up the same as when i say chromed i mean it'll get bloody highly polished like those that i've still got to do more on and then all these bits and pieces will be getting cleaned up rightio guys so a progress update i wanted to show you at this stage because this is basically showing you what these pipes would have if we were to keep them chrome, this is as good as they will get. Obviously, I haven't done any polishing or finer stuff. I've just got rid of the rust. So from a distance, you're going, yeah, they're not too bad. But 
once we get up close and I've sat this as if it was sitting on the bike so we kind of like would be would be looking down on the bike and you can see obviously that there um, this is all pitting down on there um, these aren't too bad the pipes aren't too bad but then you get some stuff in there um, but apart from that now that I'm going to paint them everything looks pretty good there is and I'll just show you uh, down here you can see I've actually got holes so I'm presuming that waters and obviously salty water has just sat in there and sat in there and it's uh, rusted through I can't think of anything else uh, this has got scuff marks but yeah something like that I think it had to have been rust so I'm gonna look at uh, filling filling those up whether I weld or I don't know we'll work that out rightio guys that's it that is all now cleaned up cleaned up enough for what I'm doing when you stand back and you look at these you go man they look really cool because they're so chrome then you walk up and then you just go yeah I can't do it all right let's start painting it right here guys so the paint that I'm going with is this duplicolor high heat um, there was an engine one which was up to 500 this one's up to 1093 C or 2000 Fahrenheit but it has the exhaust pipe things on it because I presume the exhaust pipe is going to be hotter than the engine. I think so. So anyway, I've gone with this. Now apparently this will touch dry in 15 minutes. It's, it doesn't actually dry until they talk about putting it into an oven. Uh, but I think this is going to be very much like the pot belly stuff when you heat the stove up. You know, like those wood stoves that I've made. Once you do that initial burn, that's what fully sets it. So once they're on the bike and the bike gets started up and ridden around then it'll fully cure that's what i think all right let's see what happens well there you go the chrome is going I forgot to mention it's uh, satin black, same as what we're doing on the engine. I'm hoping that it's going to be pretty much even though they're different brands. This just says black, but by the cap, the cap somewhere, it's a satin black. Um, I was a bit annoyed that it didn't actually say satin black, but we'll see what happens. guys so let me just that's just the first light coat I'm just going to keep going over remember basically it's going to be two coats on these and then I'll get really good coats on those back bits well of course I do like it because it is black and it's very mad maxi so I'm actually happy now and so that's where all the shitty parts so I grinded sanded so I think they're going to come up pretty good same as that side there, you can see slight stuff there, the rest of it. So I think that should come up as a pretty good bloody finish. Righto guys, as usual, I'll show you when I've finished the whole bloody job. Not the whole job, not the wrapping, I'll show you when I start to do the wrapping. Rightio guys, so what have I been up to today? Let's have a look. Rightio, so this is the finished project. Well, it's not the finished project, it's the finished painting. Uh, I reckon it's come up pretty damn bloody good, actually, considering. So places where you'll note that there are slight, you can see that. That was me with the grinder. But that's you know you've got to get right up close to bloody see that there you go so everything has now been sealed beautiful what else have I got uh, I've just painted this which is the um, gear shifter 
I've chromed that up as good as I can. The pitting on this was really bloody deep, but I'll show you when I unwrap that later. I've still got a couple more coats to go on this. Now in here, I've got this controller thing. I've just basically wire brushed that. So made it all nice and smooth and whatever. This all, all this was all black. So I've removed all that. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna retain that or whether I'll paint all this part black. Don't know yet, I've got to see. So still got that stuff to do and that stuff to do, but I'll show you what I've got out in the carport. Rightio, so there is the bike, ready to be degreased. So, as a note, I've covered top and bottom of that. Not that that would have been a major drama, but I'm thinking I might be doing some, um, what do you call it, sandblasting as well. So, air goes in there. That has got a rag and also sealed with tape. Uh, both, well that exhaust pipe out there has got a rag and, oh, just a rag. Plenty in there so that when I pull, everything will come out. Not go in. And of course that pipe down there. Now apart from hose breathers and, and stuff like that, spark plugs are in. I don't think there is anywhere that's going to worry you with water or sand. Obviously I'll be very particular. Now, I went to Bunnings to get some other stuff. I was surprised I couldn't find bloody uh, the normal degreasing stuff that I could get in the lawnmower section, but I found WD-40. So it is that. Lawn and garden, it's a cleaner. So what is it? Water-based citrus formula removes oil, grease and residue. Fast acting, easy to rinse. So I'm gonna give it a go, it's, who knows? Might be better for the environment. Righty hey guys, let's bloody spray this stuff on. Ooh. Smells bloody orangey. Just to let you guys know, I ran around with it with that just roughly. I'm going to see what comes off basically with the hose. Right here, guys. So. That's come up pretty good. I'm impressed with that stuff, being that it's um, water-based. Um, I don't have that normal bloody stink of the degreaser, so uh, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna have to do, so I've used that whole tin, which I think was only, was it $4 or five bucks? Might have been even, might have been $8, I don't know. But anyway, look, so you can see in here, I've still got grease there. Um, there's going to be obviously lots of little places, so I'm going to get another tin and uh, have another shot, make sure, because I've got to get all, all the grease has to come off here. I mean, up here is not so much of a problem because that up here doesn't necessarily have to be black because that's covered by the covers. Um, but as much as I can clean off means that I get a better eye on everything and um, I'll get better coverage with the paint and all that kind of bullshit. Wanking on like usual. Cool. Well, there we go, guys. This is the ugly truth of it. <sighs> you can see, now we should be able to see everything. And obviously there's a lot more rust on um, the frame than what I first thought, but nothing that's out of control. It's just surface rust. Just means there's a lot more rubbing and scrubbing which is what I say a lot now <laughs> on this so that's all now being degreased um, I've blown it off with the air gun making uh, making sure all the electrics get them all bloody dried up I'm just going to leave it sitting in the sun here I'll turn it around just to make sure I get it really dry and then so I'm just letting everybody everybody especially the ones that are thinking they might want to buy it seeing all the ugly truth of it it's actually pretty good. 
some of the, the this paint's just starting to tip off, but that's fine because I've got to rub all this down anyway. So um, no nasty surprises. So what I've now got to do is once that's all dry, I'm going to take it down into the workshop, stick it up on that uh, table, the one with the uh, bench vice, the vice thing on it. <laughs> And there it'll sit and I'll just toil away with getting rid of all that rust off the frame. Then uh, prepping all the engine for the paint. And then I'll, well, most probably paint the frame first, then I'll do the engine. We'll see what happens. Cool. Rightio guys, so now we're back to present time. The Virago is now sitting up on this uh, bench. I'm going to give you a quick look around just to show I started getting on the rust. Rightio, so that's little Lucifer sitting up on the bench. Sorry about the noise. Now he's in there, buddy, using a jigsaw. And I should have done this during the day, but we'll see how we go. So as you can see, I've just used a wire brush, and I've just been using that one there on the drill. And just scratching off the paint. And I just go until I stop seeing the um, the rust, so I get to just good metal. I've got still I've got to smooth this up. Obviously, I've just roughly gone over just some of it, just to see how it was gonna how it was all gonna work. So we've got some rust up there. There's lots, lots and lots. Look, if I was gonna do a, you know, a really good bloody job and try and fog this off at a you know a bloody you know two and a half grand or something like that, I'd be repainting the whole bloody frame. But we shall see how we go. Because like when I've done like these little bits, I'm gonna have to spray this whole section. And what I've got to remember is at that part of the frame, how much is exposed. So obviously parts of this parts of the frame are just hidden you're not going to see it so if there's an alteration between the the new paint and the old paint that's not a problem the main thing is that we're covering it sealing it so it doesn't bloody rust again but the parts that are exposed have to be uniformed um, in color in my head you know what I'm talking about so there we go guys I just got shoot loads to do on it well there you go guys that's it for the uh, budget bike build Virago 250 um, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.